Yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski, and I've been playing Pokemon for a long time, around nine years to be exact, and I've seen a lot of things added to this game over those nine years. But today I wanted to make a video talking about the top five things that haven't been added to Pokemon yet that I would like to see. So welcome to this video, welcome to the channel, subscribe if you're new, and make sure to like if you enjoy the content. Now my list is actually going to be in order from the thing I want to see the most first down to the thing I want to see the least or, you know, least priority. Now, if you're a fan of my channel or if you've watched any of my videos, you might know that the thing that I most want to see in Pokemon before anything else, if I could see it next update, I would be so happy, would be to add the RU slash PU tiers to Pokemon competitive play. So for those who don't know, what that essentially means is that in competitive Pokemon play, there are tiers of play that essentially separate Pokemon based on power level. Right now, there are three main tiers in Pokemon, alongside doubles, so technically four, but who plays doubles? Uh, OU, which is overused, UU, which is underused, and NU, which is never used. Now, I'm a huge fan of low power Pokemon. I'm a huge fan of making Pokemon shine that wouldn't normally have that chance. So I'm a huge fan of NU. But recently, there's been a bit of a dynamic going on within the tier that makes me quite sad. Essentially, historically, NU has always been the tier for the memers and the testers and the play the play testers and those who just want to have fun. Um, play semi-serious, but with some really cool Pokemon. Back in the day, we saw things like Serene Gray's Dunsparce being a real meta threat. We saw original Porygon. We saw, even before Eviolite, we saw Swalot having a shine, to, to, just a chance to shine in the meta at some point. It's been a really, really interesting, rich history to NU competitive play. I brought Shuckle into the limelight in some certain Pokemon daily tournaments way back in the day, but nowadays, the tier is pretty much dominated by actually powerful Pokemon due to so much power creep with so many newer Pokemon. Uh, and in my opinion, there's just way too many Pokemon in the game for there to only be three tiers and have each of those tiers be balanced. And NU really gets the worst stick of it as well, being in the lowest tier. Essentially, NU right now is pretty much dominated by Blaziken, Feraligatr, Ambipom, Steelix, and Golbat. All of those Pokemon are just so much better than every Pokemon in the tier, and if you're not playing with those Pokemon, you're at such a severe disadvantage, it's really not even worth queuing up. This makes me incredibly sad, but I don't want to go into this to too much extent. This is a video about top 5 things I want to see in the game, not my cries and woes about RU slash PU. But if I didn't make it quite clear enough, RU and PU are essentially extra tiers that would get added on. RU stands for rarely used and PU stands for partially used. These tiers would essentially make things more balanced in the game. The only real drawback is that queues might be longer when queuing for PvP, which is a realistic concern that the devs have. Alright, but anyways, I've done enough videos ranting about RU slash PU, so let's go ahead and do some more fun things that I want to see added to Pokemon. And number two is a really fun one, and I think a fantastic thing for all players, whether you're a very serious player, a casual player, whatever it may be, everyone in MMOs love mounts. Mounts are such an incredibly cool thing in MMOs. It's a way to move faster while also flexing some sort of achievement or maybe wealth. They're classic to MMOs like World of Warcraft or even other Pokemon MMOs actually already have mounts imp like implemented. Can you imagine seeing players riding around on like an Arcanine or a Rapidash or maybe even flying around on a Dragonite or something like that? Imagine if we could one day get like flight paths like in WoW with Dragonite. That wouldn't really be relevant to Pokemon since you can simply just click the fly button, but it's a cool idea to see the enemy that that's more you know fantasy but i do love the idea of replacing you know the lame old bike with some cool mounts now we finally just got our first glimpse of that recently with the christmas event they actually implemented a sleigh so we know that they can implement something similar to like this you can see me riding around my sleigh right now in game we know they can implement something like this and maybe they're moving slowly towards that i just i would personally love to be able to ride around on the pokemon you know i have Maybe you could, I've always, I've, I've talked to this a lot with friends about how they could implement the system. It could be used as a gold sink. You could potentially pay millions of GP to, you know, buy that mount similar to World of Warcraft, or it could also be a shiny Pokemon sink where let's say you wanted to have that shiny Arcanine mount. What if you had to consume a shiny Arcanine and like five to 10 mil Pokemon to be able to get that? Like that would be such a prestigious achievement while also maintaining the economy for such a long period of time. It would be incredible. I think that would be a fantastic way to up the value on certain shinies and create more desire and just have a really for like a good reason for a fantastic item uh and for a fantastic cause all right now on to number three the top three thing that i want to see added to pokemon it's actually a really simple one it's actually a newer generation item it's simply 
heavy duty boots i think that heavy duty boots is the definition of a balanced item in pokemon it is a lot to give up your item slot just to not take damage from entry hazards like stealth rocks especially when you can dedicate a slot to a defogger or a rapid spinner on your team but certain pokemon really really need it pokemon like charizard pokemon like volcarona become so much more usable and so much stronger when they have access to heavy duty boots and i think it's just such a fair trade-off in my opinion i truly love the item i think when a meta is so dominated by stealth rocks in vaults vault switch and u-turn the way it is in pokemon right now having heavy duty boots to sort of even the playing field to some extent for some of those pokemon that can't really shine or can't really play with that I think is incredible. I think heavy duty boots is just such a fantastic balance item, and I would love to see it added to Pokemon for balancing reasons. And I, I think it's just, I think it's super fair, but I'd love to see you guys' you know, comments and feedback in the comments below. Now, the fourth thing I would love to see added to Pokemon is a pretty interesting one. It's simply guild halls. Everyone knows about teams and you know caring about your guilds and clans and MMOs. It's a like the social experience is a really really big part of Pokemon and a really big part of any MMO, right? I think something I would really really love to see is guild halls. I can't tell you the amount of memories I have on even super old niche MMOs. Some of my greatest memories on MMOs were actually on Spiral Knights because they had a really, really cool guild hall system and people would just kind of hang out and just, you know, slash sit and just hang around and just chat. And I think those kind of memories are truly created and helped help to be harbored by guild halls. I think guild halls create a really unique experience, create a tight-knit social experience. They could also be used to host events a lot easier and a lot more tight-knit for, for certain teams and guilds and clans, and that helps a lot. Having to kind of switch channels and maneuver everything, get everyone in a specific situation or specific location can be really annoying at times, and I think guild halls would solve that, you know, if you want to. You could still gather in the overworld if you really want to, but having the option for a guild hall would just be perfect in my opinion. Guild halls could once again be used as another money sink where you have to pay, you know, X amount of GP to unlock it and gain access to it. And maybe you could get banners or get statues or get things in your guild hall, similar to a secret base, um, but just adding more of a, you know, come together sort of situation. I think secret bases could be expanded a lot more. No one really uses secret bases in Pokemon, unfortunately. Um, I really wish, like, I personally want to. I really wish there was more customization to them. I don't know if it's, I really don't know if it's a matter of, like, the players just not having the interest, or I think it's a pretty limited system would be my argument. Like, I really like the, I love customization. My favorite thing to do in games is customize my house. Like, whenever I play Skyrim, I immediately go buy that, you know, the plot of land, and then customize and add everything. I really care about that stuff. So, I don't know if it's, like, if I'm not doing it in this game, I really think it's just down to the limited system, and I really don't enjoy the customization system within the secret bases. I think a guild hall could rehaul a lot of that and add a lot more interesting customization add a lot more elements maybe add some like actual functionality maybe adding a pc to the guild hall would be super cool get some actual like objective benefits there's a lot of cool potential there now the fifth and final thing that i'd want to see added to pokemon i'm not gonna lie is a super hard guilty pleasure of mine and i don't know if i would actually want to see this in the added to the game but i'm super excited to see your guys' feedback on this in the comments below the fifth thing that I'd want to see added is skills because I am such an RPG nerd. I fucking love RuneScape. I've played almost 20,000, I think 18,000 hours of RuneScape in my life. Um, it's an incredible game, fantastic game. I've matched an Ultimate Iron Man. I've matched a main account on Old School RuneScape and I love skills. I love grinding. I love seeing the XP increments. Um, I don't know if it really fits the Pokemon play or the Pokemon playstyle at all. Um, I'll be totally honest. This is definitely a guilty pleasure. But I want to see your guys' feedback. I would love to see you know the community's feedback on this. I don't think this will ever come into the game, but I had to talk about it because I care about it so much. So essentially, what skills would be would be uh, you know you chopping down an maybe if you could like use the cut HM and you every time you chop down a tree you would gain XP towards something. I don't even know if you would gain, maybe you could chop down that tree faster. Let's say you were to cut use the HM cut. Uh, over and over and over again, the more trees you cut, you cut down, maybe the animation will be more f instant. I, I, I don't know. I have literally, I have not thought about the ramifications of this. I have not thought about the actual skill trees, the you know limitations. I truly haven't. Um, maybe I mean that could be interesting with the HMs included. Like rock smash could be like quote unquote mining. Maybe it becomes faster to rock smash, or maybe you get like a better chance of encountering a Pokemon. I think that would be a really cool cool element. This is all just off the top of my head. So you know, please take this with a grain of salt. But I'm a huge fan of skills. I'm a huge fan of grinding levels. I just I I truly I love RuneScape. I love games like that. I love Skyrim. All those elements of leveling, RPG, um, developing your character, developing those systems. I would love to see that in Pokemon, but that might just be a pipe dream. But I will hold dearly to that pipe dream.
All right, but I think that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Please let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments down below. I'm really excited to see you guys' feedback on this. Make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. It helps me out a ton. And subscribe for future Pokemon content. I upload 10 videos a week as well as stream four times a week here on YouTube. I stream around noon EST. Uh, Monday through Thursday. And if you want to go above and beyond, you can consider becoming a YouTube member team for five bucks a month, drop on a Twitch Prime or a Twitch sub here or, or over on my Twitch, which is all linked below, or hit up my Patreon or my Venmo, which are linked below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. Hey, you watch until the end of the video. I really appreciate that. This end clip is used to say thank you to all my YouTube members, Twitch subs, Patreon members, and Venmo supporters who go above and beyond and support this channel. You guys allow me to keep making content, and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Have a great day.